and welcome to RC Kicks on today's show. Something a little bit different. It's kind of an Avanti, but yet it's Mutant Brother. Now this is a car you may not have heard of. It's called the Vajra. Vadradra, Vajra, something like that. Well, one day at Tamiya, it must have been a bit quiet and there wasn't a lot to do. And someone noticed an Avanti chassis sitting on the side and thought, do you know what? That would make a fantastic racing truck. Y yeah, the Avanti chassis racing truck. Right, yeah, okay. Well, believe it or not, it got all the way through production and it was green lighted. And sure enough, you can buy one. It's called the Vadra, and this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's an Avanti. Yeah, you wouldn't think so, would you? But underneath is an Avanti chassis, big towers, big shocks, huge great big wheels, and the craziest sticker job you could ever imagine. Well, on this episode, we open a new inbox, get everything out, build the chassis up, throw in some electronics, spray up the top, put the horrendous stickers on, and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Anyway, that's enough waffling, let's crack on and build this thing. Right, let's open the box get everything unpacked, lay out everything, and then we'll make a start on page one. Don't think we need the body just yet. A bit keen. Now, I've um, never built a Vanti, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. We need the manual. one is not sure now a few people told me that uh, Vajra actually means something it's not just a random word that Tamiya made up and it's to do with some little um, weapon device ceremonial thing um, I'll put a uh, description up here so that's uh, what it's actually called and what that means but uh, there you go bit of information for you so I'm going to be out of sync because I want to make the tyres because the tyres look cool. So we're going to crack on with the tyres first because they're fun. <laughs> the size of these proper bling. <laughs> right. So, yeah. They even come with... Uh, oh. They even come with inserts. They've even got the... Uh, foam inserts in them. Hmm. I'm guessing this is just a break it off thing. Cool. Maybe not. So there is actually a direction for these tires. Oh yeah. So we are going to go. I like the tire design. I'm not too sold on the blingy wheels, but uh, I have seen in Tamco that you can get uh, black ones. And uh, a few people have recommended some other tires that you can get. I like the tyres, I must admit. So that's going that way. I guess they're all exactly the same, yeah. So this one goes like this. Uh, God, I did some tyres this morning and my fingers are feeling it already. There we go, it's two. So that's these two going that way, and then we have 
the other side, which are going to go that way, and they need to go that way. Yep. Oh, how many times have you put one-way tyres on wrong and you had to change them? I guess I'm not the only person that's done that, am I? <laughs> or more than once. Yeah, I may have done that quite a few times. My dishwasher, not dishwasher, my washing machine it doesn't half go on when it tells you that it's finished. I will go and uh, shut it up in a minute because it's driving me nuts already. Is that right? Doesn't seem to be sitting as well as I like. Seems to be it. Yep. So that's the other way. So that one goes that way, that one goes that way, and then this one goes the same, goes like that. Pretty easy to fit, nothing super difficult. Some tyres, oh my god, uh, what car is a real pain to put tyres on? Uh, put in the comment below, what car has given you the worst problems fitting tyres to rims? Um, I think it was the Hornet. The Hornet can be pretty fun. I think the Grasshopper again is the same sort of thing. Um, oh yeah, I had to heat them up, put them in uh, hot water from the kettle to uh, get them to actually fit. There we go. Four proper bling wheels. <laughs> right, anyway, I digress. Now I'm gonna go and shut my washing machine up because it's driving me bonkers and I'm pretty sure it'll whinge at me for the next 30 minutes so I'll be right back right I'm back I've shut up the washing machine might as well get a cup of tea while I'm at it let's crack on so manual now apparently um, people that have run these have said that this cracks and uh, can't stand up to what the car does with big wheels so that's something to be mindful of if you're getting one of these um, you might want to upgrade the chassis because um, it splits now I was told where it splits but I think it's on the uprights or something I don't know but I did get told by a few people that um, to expect the chassis will break quite easily uh, which is a bit of shame especially after just working with the Vanquish and coming straight into another car that seems to suffer from the same problems of being fragile. Right, let's crack open these bags. What have we got? Loads of plastics. Also, Tamir, maybe it might be nice to start using less plastic. Save the world and all that stuff. So while I'm doing this, let's have a chat about what else is coming. Well, as we're coming into winter now, I've racked up a lot of cars um, to be built. So the I really, really want to build the Schumacher XLS, but uh, I keep it keeps sliding down the list. Plus, um, a few people have done it. Uh, Glenn's just done one not that long ago. So if you uh, really want to see a good um, XLS Schumacher build drop over to his uh, YouTube channel and there's also a few others around but uh, I really want to build it mainly for myself right where else are we getting a few bits and pieces oh my God. there's actually a correction to the manual wow that's something you don't normally see very often in a Tamiya there's a correction to the manual. Wow. Well, it's not actually raining for once. It seems to have just about stopped raining. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm tempted to build an arc. It's raining so often. GT tuned. Apparently this is part of the upgrade. Uh, bonus parts included. Oh, uh, also the ins the uh, stickers. 
a few people commented on the stickers. One person commented saying that they are from a drift car of some sort, which is a bit strange. But a few other people have said that because the the box art stickers weren't liked very much that they did an upgrade uh, and they did a few different versions of stickers for this car. I seem to be burning through a lot of these on my Avantis at the moment and the problem I seem to have is that these three legs are too high and it puts too much uh, like torsion on them and it cracks across this section here so I have to sand down these three parts uh, hmm. especially the Vanquish but I also have seen it on uh, other Avantis as well so. okay so we need one of these that is the B1 part. We need a piece of metal which comes from, there we go, metal plate. Now we attach the metal plate to here like so. It goes that way. So we've now completed page four, which is attaching the um, motor to the rear gearbox by fitting the main metal plate. Um, now we move on to mounting the gearbox to the sh carbon chassis lower plate which is now page five um so we flip that over then we need to stick that that way so there's three main screw bolts and shafts that hold the rear gearbox in place i'm gonna go with that and then we need to put that in there i need three hands for this <laughs> and that oh i don't want to drop it everywhere goes like that. So we're now on page five, section four. Um, we need to put this needs to go in here.
What do we need? H4 gearing. H4. So that comes in off the drive shaft to the front of the car, goes through a mounting plate, through a bearing, through the gear itself, and then settles in another smaller bearing to hold it in place. We need B5. B5, where's B5? you b5 there's b5 there it is right i'm back <sighs> i just ripped out a dishwasher <laughs> in uh, and I made myself a drink but that's done in the garden sorted new ones coming tomorrow anyway back to something a little bit more fun than ripping integrated dishwashers out of kitchens so where were we um we were on page six number seven I've just put the ball diffs in I've just put the bearings in and now I've got to put the top plate on so one there that one on there, that one on there, that one on there. Summer's gone, I'm latching on. Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Underneath rays of gold, your body also close. No, I can't forget. No, when I saw you on the dance floor, I was to you who's on me first. I guess it's history now, and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize the danger, cause you're the end of the rainbow. And the music was so loud, I didn't catch the name of the dance crowd. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Cause all I wanna do is to know your name. Girl, you should wear a name tag. That's the only way that I can show you. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Right. We're still there. Whew. Right. Then, stupid ass spring. Oh my word. What were they thinking? I've got to do this again. Oh God. Um, and it says compress once then attach. There's two of these, uh, yeah, well, I'll do the other one off camera. I'll be right back. Well, 